Welcome back. This is a continuing series of uh, e-learning videos on IGCSE accounting code 0452. And I call this topic, Topic F. In the Cambridge syllabus, it is denoted as 6.6.2. My worksheet here is reference 6 stroke 12. Now, people, I've split the screen into two. On the right-hand side, the question will remain while I work and comment and uh, do my working on the left-hand side, okay? So let's go through the question together. Uh, Precious and Marcia are in partnership. Their partnership agreement includes the following. Okay, so now people, you can refer to my notes at the beginning of this uh, section on partnership. There are notes there. So you can attempt this question yourself, pause this video, then only look at my solution, all right? But in the meantime, let's do it together. Interest on capital, interest on drawings, wait, interest on capital is 5%, interest on drawings, 3%. Marcia gets an annual salary of $12,000. Profits and losses are shared. 3 is to 2. That means um, Precious gets 3 parts and Marcia gets 2 parts of um, the total profits or losses. The balance on the partner's capital accounts are given for Precious and Marcia. During the year ended, the partner's drawings were, okay, uh, Precious and Marcia have 15000 21000 Now, what do they want? They, okay, they tell you that the profit for the year is 25100 Prepare profit and loss appropriation account of both of them, of both the partners for the year ended, of the partnership for the year ended 31st of May, 2002. Uh, state why it is advisable for partners to draw up a partnership agreement when they form a partnership and C state why a partnership agreement may provide for each of the following interest in capital interest on drawings partnership salaries okay at this point you can pause the video pick up pen and paper and attempt this question yourself uh, having done that you can resume the video and compare your solutions with mine okay you got that here goes Okay, you can refer to my notes uh, anytime at the beginning of this uh, partnership uh, section, you know, then they will guide you how to do this. But by now, if you're good, you're comfortable, you should know you have to do this. You have to write the title, the profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended, 31st of May. You always start with, remember, the, uh, as in my notes, I told you, uh, you always start with profit for the year, which were given at interest on drawings. Remember, interest on drawings um, is what we charge, the, the partnership charge the respective partners for taking drawings uh, throughout the year. Okay, so it's in a way, it's a, like an income to the partnership. Then less. When you write here, less will be all the respective appropriation that we have to pay out to, that the partnership has to pay out to the partners, uh, namely interest on capital, salaries, right? And the last but not least is the Profit sharing. So that is standard. Okay. So the profit for the year is 25,100. Now the interest on drawings, which is 3%. So you take the drawings figure. You take the drawings, um, which is 3%. The interest on drawings is, yeah, for Precious is 15,000 and Marsha is 21,000. So 15,000 times 3%. And for Marcia, 21,000 times 3% will give you these two amounts, 150, 630. So you have a subtotal, bring it out. Two columns of figures look really nice. Three columns look even better. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't don't be uh, so, don't get so uptight about the three columns. Just that it looks nice, okay? Just learn to balance it and get it right for the first time. Then uh, the interest on capital. Their, okay, their interest on capital is 5% per annum. So their capital of precious is 90,000. So 90,000 times 5% will give you 4,500. And 70,000 for Marcia. So 70,000 times 5% will give you 3,500. Again, a subtotal here. Okay. And one more appropriation. Uh, Marcia is entitled to uh, annual salary of Twelve thousand dollars, yes. Okay, so eight thousand plus twelve thousand is twenty thousand. What you have available to share is twenty five thousand one hundred plus 
1080, which is 26,180, from which you deduct $20,000 to give you 6,180, which is the balance of the profit available to distribute among the two partners. You know that pressures will get three parts. So 3 over 5 times the 6180 will be 3,780. 2 over 5 times the 6180 will give you 2472. And this will add up to 6180. Can you see it ties back? Okay. The 6180 is split two ways. Okay. And that's it. That's your profit and loss appropriation account. Okay. Now part B. State why it is advisable for partners to draw up a partnership agreement. Okay, uh, my notes reads like this. Okay, I'm sorry my writing is a bit cursive, but I will read it slowly for you. It is advisable to draw up a partnership agreement to avoid misunderstanding and arguments later. The clauses of a partnership agreement cover many aspects of the business, including one, um, amount of capital invested by each partner. Sorry about this, I use short form. I'm quite fond of that. Amount of capital invested by each partner, profit sharing ratio, uh, whether interest on capital is to be paid, amount of partners salaries if any, limits on drawings by partners and whether interest on drawings is to be charged. Uh, interest on loans by partners, if any, other matter. Okay, I think in this question, looking at the points, you know, I think this part is really important. This part is to say to avoid misunderstanding and arguments. And this part is emphasis, right? I mean, if this is a four-point question, then you will please write as much as you can. If it's just like one or two points, then I think if you write the first four lines, it should be good enough, Okay. So, uh, state part C, state why a partnership agreement may provide uh, for each of the following interest and capital. Okay, interest on capital is to compensate the partners uh, investing the most capital. So, like for example, uh, Precious invests 90,000 and Marshall invests 70. So, it seems like unfair, right? Because the amount of capital invested by both are different. So because of that, they try to make it equitable, fair, by saying, okay, uh, we will give, uh, the business will pay a part, uh, each partner interest on capital of X percent. All right. So I repeat, interest on capital to compensate the partner investing the most capital. Interest on drawings to deter the partners from making drawings and to penalize the partner making the most drawings. You know, because uh, it seems unfair. I mean, if you're in a business uh, selling goods of certain kind and one partner loves taking a lot of stuff out, then there's be a lot of drawings, you know. It seems unfair to the other partner who's not taking as much drawings out. So that's why you to deter, to prevent partners from making drawings and to penalize partners making the most drawings. Now, uh, partnership salaries. Partnership salaries is to reward the partner who has the greatest share of work and responsibility in the business. I think you may have heard there are working partners and sleeping partners. So sleeping partners will do nothing, just put in capital. So if you have a partner who does more work, he should be paid, especially if the partner is responsible for a lot of business, sales, running day to day, then that partner should be paid a salary. Okay, so I've written here to reward the partner who has the greatest share of work and responsibility in the business.